Well, the Omaha Storm Chasers know how to do baseball. They let the players handle that, right? You can get the baseball going. Uh, you know what else they're good at? They're good at promotions, deals, freebies, and making games events that you will not want to miss. Mm, Aaron Bailey is back to tell us what's planned for the upcoming homestand. Good to see Aaron. Yes, good morning. Oh, Hi. Thanks for coming. Thanks. 11 and what was it, 11 and 8? 11, 11 and 8. 11 yes. and 8 right now. Not bad, not yeah. bad. Um, so you got the team is coming back. They're coming yes. back for a homestand. What's, when are they coming back? So they got back, they have an off day today, and then we are back at the ballpark tomorrow night, 6.35 p.m. for a nice thirsty Thursday. Mm. We love thirsty Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. How many games will there, they be in town for? Nine. That's a long That's home a long stretch. It's a, a lot of fun. Should we sort through some of the, uh, some of the events throughout that nine-game homestand? Let's walk through some of the specific games, starting with a blue out and fireworks uh, this Friday. Friday, yes. It's a blue out, so we want all the fans to w wear blue. Hopefully we can blue out the whole stadium. Nebraska Highway Safety is giving us a, the first 1,000 people will get a rally towel. And then it's also High V Friday fireworks. So that's a fun day. Mm -hmm. Well, families always love to come and see the fireworks, and it's always yeah. fun. You can stay up a little bit later if it's a Friday. Yeah. Now, are there multiple blue outs this year? Yes. Yeah, and there's about five. And the idea there is just to kind of build fan support, and it's always yeah. nice to see all the color in the uh, in the stadium. Does it have to be that particular shade of blue? Can it be the powder blue too? <laughs> yeah, we have both. Right? So as long as you're in blue, we're going to be happy. Okay. Uh, and then the bobblehead giveaway, uh, that the is Saturday, Splash bobblehead yes. giveaway. What's our, that all about? It's our first bobblehead for the season. Fairfield Inn & Suites is giving the first 1,500 fans that Salvi Splash bobblehead, and his arms and his head move, so it's really cool. So it's and not it just a bobblehead, it's a bobble arm. It has the jug. I mean, the jug is yeah. right there between his hands. Yeah, so it's literally like you're getting your own Salvi Splash. Oh, that's hilarious. I love that. What kind of feedback are you hearing about that bobblehead? Because that's a pretty unique design. Yeah, we've heard tons of exciting things. Everyone's really excited about it. Who came up with that? I mean, who came up with that idea? Was that you or who was it? That was? was decided before I started with the Storm Chasers. Okay. So. That's, I like that. That's a good move. Uh, and then you have, uh, well, the bobblehead giveaway. How many do you give away? 1,500. 1,500. First mm -hmm. 1,500 fans. And yes. you'll have more bobbleheads. Can you give us a preview to some of the other? Because there's even a bobblehead ticket package this year, isn't there? Yes. I love that. What do you yeah. mean? Uh, explain how that works. So we have four bobblehead giveaways. So you get a ticket to every bobblehead giveaway this season. Doesn't guarantee you a bobblehead, but you, you gotta do be get one your of the ticket. First yeah, you still have to, to come get there early. Right. But we have a Whit Merrifield bobblehead on Super Hero Night. We have the Alex Gordon, and then we also have a Palo Orlando bobble waist, and it's with the Greater Omaha, and he's doing the O. So mm, his sure. like waist actually goes back and right. forth. That's great. I'm gonna preview uh, one of your other big events of the summer by doing this. <laughs> Yes, Parent Savvy is bringing a Star Wars night. They have the Boba Fett jerseys that they'll be auctioning off after the game. And the 501st Legion is going to be out, so you get to take pictures with all your favorite Star Wars characters. And that is next Friday. How, how big is this event? Because I know these Star Wars things are pretty huge. big for the Storm Chasers. This how many huge. fans are you expecting? We're expecting to almost sell out. Yeah, it's a big night. Yes. Um, Marty. Cordero. Yes. He's kind of a big Star Wars well, the, fan. Does that have a something bit. to do with it? <laughs> it's, I, from what I've learned about him so far, I would like to say it's his favorite night of the season. Yeah, that doesn't surprise <laughs> me. How do the players react to some of these promotions? Are they even aware of them, or are they like game on, laser they're focus? Focused. I mean, they're focused on the I mean, game, like I every Wednesday home game, you've got dogs at the ballpark. I mean, you've got to kind of notice a little bit. When you <laughs> yeah, they notice. They're, for the, the theme nights, they'll notice more when they're wearing the special jerseys. Mm -hmm. They're obviously like, oh, something's going on. <laughs> I'm and, Boba Fett. <laughs> yeah, they're like, what is this? But they, they especially like it when they get to change out of their normal uniform and wear something fun. And then I think it's fun for them when they get to meet the fan that bought their jersey at the end of the game. Yeah, that's okay. always a And then you picture. have something else coming up. It's a, it's a big concert right yes mm -hmm. we just announced our country concert it, and, and it it's Steve Mokler Steve Mokler what do you know about Steve Mokler do you know much about him I I, I googled him today he's, yeah. he's that guy right there that guy right there Steve Mokler that, that has a great album if you don't have it yet I would suggest you download it well yeah. and you've got until August to learn all the songs yeah right? this is toward the end of this end of the summer it's August 11th mm -hmm. and, it, and it's after the it's after the game is when you have this concert yes yeah, so this that Friday night will be a huge night because it's the game fireworks, and the concert. So if you buy a ticket to the game, you get all three of those great things. Well, and I'd also like to point out, they're playing the Iowa Cubs, which mm. always brings out, everybody cheers for the Storm Chasers, of course, but then those of us who are Cubs fans, we like to come out and check the players. I'm yeah. a huge fan of both the Cubs and the Royals, mm -hmm. so it's always fun for me to come and see the players that are going up, that are going down and changing. 
So that's going to be a huge night. Yeah, we're very excited. That's a big one. So you got a lot of stuff coming up over the next yeah. three, four months, right? Definitely. Uh, all that stuff can be found at OmahaStormChasers.com. By the way, season tickets, can people still get season tickets or is that is that done? Ticket plans are still available. You can yes. still get you can still get ticket plans for the rest of the yes. season. The family membership is a great deal. I did that last year. My husband and I keep saying we're going to do it again this year. Oh yeah, that's, th a steal. that's still an option. Definitely, you get uh, yes. several games. Uh, the nights are uh, it's Sunday through Wednesday. Any of the home yes. games for one package deal. Look it up. It's, it's on their six website. Six tickets per package too. So you buy one package, you can basically you can bring your whole family. Yeah, you can, it's, yeah, it's you can even bring deal. the grandparents under that deal. So yep. I would recommend you check it out. Nine game homestand. Yeah. Look for her on the scoreboard doing all yes. the promotions as our in game host. <laughs> yes. It's Thanks, lovely Aaron. to have you back, Erin. Thank you. Thank you. Happy birthday. Yes. Yes. <laughs> morning blend. Number seven. Guest of the morning blend. Star